I normally create characters based on my own doodles and sketches, but today I'm taking inspiration from one of my little sister Olivia's doodles instead. It was in my sketchbook, so I say it's fair game. The doodle in question is this happy gremlin with a knife, a top hat, and a delicious, refreshing beverage of some kind. Now, I've been kicking around this concept for a colony of magical insectoid leprechauns, so I decided to use this base to bring it to life because it had the exact sort of mischievous demeanor that I was looking for. First, I redrew the character close to its original depiction so I could get the look right. Then, I iterated on the design to make it look less like a human caricature and more like a creature. Wings that draped down like a cape and the extra limbs fill out the silhouette and gave this design more insect-like qualities. I took inspiration from green onions with the inverse gradient coloration, the head as the whitish bulb that becomes more deeply saturated toward the bottom, and I also included some orange and vermilion coloration to the design as a nod to the leprechaun's red hair. The hat was an important leprechaun element that I had to keep, but I didn't want it to look man-made, so I changed it to be a leafy stalk sticking out of its head that mostly keeps the same silhouette. Turns out these leprechauns are both plants and animals. Ah, whatever, they're magical. The man-made concern also applied to the knife and the drink, so I exchanged them for more organic counterparts. The knife became the long blade fingers on each hand, which the leprechauns used to defend their hive from intruders and to forage for and process the ingredients needed to make leprechaun honey, a saccharine golden substance that can only be crafted by mixing seven different ingredients that represent each color of the rainbow. Recipes differ depending on the availability of said ingredients in your local enchanted forest, but all seven colors must be present and abundant to sustain a colony of leprechauns. So, if you follow the rainbow, you'll find the gold. Also, Olivia drew a fat with a pH bird eating fish right next to the other critter, so I drew that too. Later, man.